morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Yeah, sunshiny Winnipeg right now. Uh, but the weatherman's predicting rain for later this morning. At least that's what I read last night. I haven't checked the weather this morning. Maybe that's what I should have done, right? Anyway, now as I mentioned yesterday, I, I was going to go out on my bike and I did. And I was out for, I believe it was 37 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, my bike rides are getting longer and longer and longer. I'm getting further and further and further away from home. I was about, oh, I'm guessing five kilometers north of here before I turned around and came back. Uh, that bike trail that I go on after I go over the bridge and then head, head, it goes in a straight line for the longest way. Well, it's the longest way, I'll tell you. It, it, it goes way north of Winnipeg here. I, I don't know how far it goes, actually. I'm guessing... Uh, maybe 20 kilometers yeah and it's, as far as I know it's uh, it's uh, paved all the way uh, I was noticing though that uh, some of the some of the pavement was uh, uh, old pavement and it had some pretty bad cracks in it and I can imagine with somebody uh, that had a you know a, a racing tires those skinny little useless tires uh, they could have a real problem if they got down in one of those things. Uh, anyway, um, now about the birdhouse. Today is going to be the last day that I that I have the camera on the birdhouse. All day yesterday, no birds came of any kind. All day long, I checked, and uh, <clears throat> so if it happens again today, I'm going to uh, take the birdhouse down and see what's going on there and I'm going to cut the perch off. As I mentioned before, I think having it with the perch on was a mistake. And uh, because we, we talked about it before, but the idea is that the larger birds like the sparrows like to have a perch to hang on to, whereas the smaller birds, they just like the chickadees, they just sort of fly right into the hole and hang on, hang on one on the edge of the hole. So, uh, yeah, it was a mistake. I should have taken that perch off or not put it on in the first place. Uh, now, um, where are we going here? Oh, <laughs> the, the most important part. Let me turn this on here. See if I can slow it down. Battery's kind of running down, so it's. Uh, it might not keep going. <laughs> anyway, I came back to the model table this morning and I sat down here and I was looking at this thing and I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and solder it up. And I did. In less than five minutes. It just, I basically held it in my fingers. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, yeah, I was, yeah, I was holding it with my fingers. I wasn't using the holder down or anything fancy or anything. And I did not, uh, I did not video it. So I just wanted to get it done. We had enough messing around yesterday. Uh, oh, and I got at least three people suggested using a toothpick to take the the solder paste off of the end of the nozzle of the applicator. Uh, you, well, that's just fine. But then you know what I was finding? Uh, at least when I tried it before, I didn't try it this morning. But when I tried it before, then the, the solder paste was sticking to the toothpick, toothpick instead of to the, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I, I couldn't win. So um, it's, it's a good idea, but uh, I, I, it worked out just fine for me doing it right straight from the, from the nozzle. It, uh, it seemed to work a lot better when I was able to hold everything with my fingers and just manipulate it right under my nose, so to speak. Uh, okay. Uh, what what are we going to do here? Uh, I, I think the th next thing to do is to, uh, well, maybe we should stick on the macro lens and uh, give you a nice close look. And uh, yeah, you're going to see that the solder joints aren't the, you know, the best. But, uh, oh, I think yesterday, one of the reasons they broke loose, I think I didn't have had what was known as a cold weld. And uh, it, uh, I didn't allow the heat to get on on there long enough uh, but but the the uh, connections look really good now uh, that thing looks like it's just about ready to stop <laughs> anyway let's let's stick on our macro lens here and uh, 
Okay now, so that we don't make everybody dizzy with the uh, rotating, let's just turn it off here. And maybe I'll rotate it a little bit by hand. Yeah, I can see where some of those connections need to be cleaned up a little bit. But on the other hand, once again, from arm's length, we're really not going to see anything. Um, <laughs> at least they're all strong. They're all strong. Now this one that's coming into view right now, this, this closest one here, that's... Uh, What's all that fluffiness going on there? I think probably, yeah, I probably got little pieces of dust on it. Okay, I wonder if I should put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and just just for a minute or two and get rid of the acid and everything. That's and and this this one over here, there's an extra little bead of something going on. I could probably brush that off. Okay, oh yeah, perspective. Okay, I have done the hot soapy water ultrasonic cleaner thing. Probably for a couple of minutes. And uh, our connections are still good. Didn't break any connections. I'm not seeing that little uh, bead of solder that I saw before, so I guess that, that probably broke off. It was probably just sitting on there. Anyway, we got it about as, you might say, pristine as we can get for painting. And uh, I think I'm going to paint it the black, the NATO black. Spray it, of course. We don't want to fill in all the grating. Uh, let's find the part that it has to go up against. And, and uh, yeah, okay, we've done enough uh, turning here, haven't we? Okay, as near as I can tell, this gets mounted onto R21. Okay, R21. Now, you see this, what looks like a little tongue or something coming down that, that's fastened onto the flashing? Are we gonna, are we gonna be needing that? I don't think so. I think that that come, I think that this all comes off just like this piece comes off. Um, yeah, well, I'll nip well, well above it though, just, and, uh, Check it out here. No, I, I think the entire thing comes off. We end up with a cylindrical type piece here. And then this this part right here is what's going to somehow get mounted, fastened to the mast. We won't be soldering it. Okay, checking our R21 here. Now, it does not appear that any of this, what I thought might not be flashing, stays on. It all comes off. And then, we have to fasten this something like this. Uh, or would it, would it be glued to the No, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Uh, it does not seem to want to fit the way I thought it should. I would have thought that this... Uh, see if I grab it a little bit differently here so that you can see it better. I would have thought that that long part would have gone right up to... And, and attached onto this this one right here. This this is not making too much sense. Uh, we'll figure it out. Then then the whole thing later on gets gets fastened onto a uh, a mast after this part is put on. So you can see that that the bottom of this. If I can get it to turn just right, you can see it's it's keyed, okay. 
the, the peg part is keyed, so that has to go. I don't know why it, why it would show that it's keyed. Except that to make sure that th this part here goes, you know, this part that's sticking out goes the right way. But but this is this has got me kind of worried here. Like th this just doesn't go seem to to me to go far enough up. Um, that is. Uh, California Paul, how did you do yours? Yeah, that's kind of, uh, well, we're not quite at that stage yet. Okay, I've got the flashing off of our R21 here. And as you can see, I've got it mounted in the bottom of this other piece of photo etch. And uh, I've got it keyed in, as you as you can see. Now we need a J44. Now, when we get our J44, you can see that it is also keyed on the end up here. So it somehow has to be. Uh, it's going to be a very delicate connection, obviously. Um, I think it would be nice if I could, uh, you know, I guess maybe melding could go on to get the, this, this, uh, keyed effect to, to, and then reinforce it possibly with CA glue. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet. And of course the other end, it just, just fits down. This, this whole thing is going to be, um, uh, something that a person could accidentally, catch your easy line on when you're doing the rigging later and break the whole thing off. Well, we'll just, uh, you know, keep going and uh, do the best we can, I guess. Okay, here it is almost noon already, and I feel like I'm getting nowhere. Now, you will notice that this platform that has the pedestal coming up out of it is is flat on one side and I am wondering now is this supposed to be somehow like this or maybe maybe like this no it, I think it shows You know what? Why don't I uh, see if we can find this this radar unit in Stefan's book? Okay. A couple hours or so has passed here, and I can't even remember hardly what I was doing here. <laughs> yeah, we were going to go and look for pictures. Well, we we did find some drawings in Stefan's book, and uh, uh, yeah, you, you could sort of see that you know that this thing was uh, supposed to be that drawing or vice versa. Uh, now I I. Uh, checked my radar weather and I was noticing there were showers forming all around Winnipeg here and I thought I'd better get out and go for my bike ride so that's what I've actually been doing for the last little while uh, I don't know how long I was on the bike but it doesn't matter I had a nice, nice little enjoyable time and uh, yeah just in case it rains this afternoon and I can't get out I'd like to try and get out every day if I can now, of course, I know that's not going to happen, but uh, we're going to do our best. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to call it quits here this afternoon. I don't want to be forgetting the coffee break like I did last week. So, uh, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, get a coffee visitor, sometimes two. And, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well.
We'll see you tomorrow. Our sunrise this morning was what you might say not necessarily definitive, but it was colorful. Uh, at least the first 70% of it or so was. And then it sort of grayed out on us, but it's uh, at least we get to see our, our friends cross the bridge at the end. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs>